Hi, welcome to the lesson one of the Make a DVD Project course. My name is Heidi Mueller and I'll be your instructor throughout this course. There are many new concepts to consider when making a DVD. In order to take the best advantage of this course, we recommend that you download and read the following background document first, a DVD primer for Windows DVD Maker. With any video project, one works with many files. It's important to stay organized. One does that by creating a project folder to contain all the source files that you'll use. I have created a folder, Make a DVD Project. Let's have a look at that. So here are my E drive under video projects. I've got a whole lot of projects going. And here I have Make a DVD Project. I'll open that. That is the project file then for this particular project. You'll notice there are three subfolders which we'll talk about later, but they each contain a video that will go on to my DVD. So that's key here just to remember that we need to create a folder. Now in a DVD project one typically works with two programs. Movie Maker, which we use to edit videos, and Windows DVD Maker to create and burn the DVD. So let's take a quick tour of DVD Maker. I'll go to Start. I've got it on my pinned here, but you can also go to All Programs. And up at the top, if you look around, you will find it eventually. There we go, Windows DVD Maker. Let me bring it up. As you can see, it's quite a simple little interface, very easy to use. There are only three or four screens to using it. So let's add an item. So here it says add an item. And we'll add one of these from our project. So let's do that. Add an item. Click. So I navigate to my folder. There it is. Add. We'll take the first one, the birds. Click Add. So it's now been added to our list. I'm going to undo. So I'll remove that one. Notice that Next is not available. As soon as I add an item, Add, Next becomes available. So over here on the screen you bring in all the videos that you want included on your DVD. If you click Next, it takes you to the area where you actually built the menu for your DVD. You also have access as you work to have a look at what your video will look like on a DVD player. So we click the preview button and that opens a simulator. Pause. As you can see you have all the controls of a normal DVD player that you would normally access with a remote control. But here we just click with our mouse. So I can go back to the start, say play, pause, menu. So it takes me back to my menu. Okay. When you're happy, click OK. It brings you back and you make more adjustments to your menu. Okay. So that's basically all there is. We will work on it in the next lesson in more detail. But important is to save your DVD project. So file, save as, and we'll put it in our folder. And I'll call it make a DVD project just to keep it the same. You can call it whatever you like. Click save. And now I'm done for now. Click. That's it. See you in the next lesson where we will look more at how to bring in videos to the DVD.